there's going to be no cuts or anything like this. So you're able to follow along step by step. I'm seeing way too many people get charged up the wazoo for something that can be as simple as starting up a server. No, I don't like that. <clears throat> Player waiting on that. Let's get some RAR lab. I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my security just so it makes it so it doesn't check it. If you know you're downloading from reputable sources, you don't need it. But completely up to you. And then we'll come back to that later. All right. So you don't need to sign in. You can set it to default if you want, if you want to set it up completely. Um, get rid of that garbage. Okay. Now, first things what we're going to do is we already have RAR Lab. Let's get VS Code. Because that's going to be the first thing that you're going to want. And then all links that I go to will be in the description for you guys to go to as well. When you get to additional tasks, create a desktop icon if you wish. I do recommend adding these two check marks here for the context menu and directed context. Go ahead and click install. While we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and navigate to JG Artifacts. Just go ahead and search it. It'll probably be the first one, artifacts.jgscripts.com. If you're using Linux, download the Linux side. If you're downloading Windows, go ahead and do Windows. And I will make a Linux setup video as well um, for those who are more proficient in the Linux side of things. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. I like creating a folder just on my desktop, just ease of access. A lot of people say put it in your C drive, all that jazz. I don't particularly like doing that, but. To each their own. Everyone has their own methods. I'm showing you how I set up my servers. Do, 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 do. All right. Now that we got that going on there, let's go ahead and go back into security. Virus settings, more settings. Scroll down to exclusions. You're going to go to folder, always folder. Navigate to your desktop. Then just click into the TX. Okay, go ahead and minimize that. Now go ahead and open it up. But first things first, we are going to make our way to, we're not going to use XAMPP. A lot of people say use XAMPP. I don't trust it because every, I've always had it to where when my server restarts, it cor corrupts my database and I can't get it back. Or there's times where I can't log into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go directly to the source. Maria DB community server is what we're going to type in. First link. Download community server. And then what this will do is this will also download MariaDB and install it onto your VPS. Go ahead and accept. Next. Now, since this is a local machine, we don't need to worry about setting a password. You can if you wish, but it'll be locked to the local machine, so you, you don't have to worry about people getting in there. I like to bump, bump this page file size to 64. And install. Okay, 
go ahead and click finish. And then you have Heidi SQL here, 64. Go ahead and scroll over to your TX folder here. So FX servers are here, double click. More info, run anyway. I will bring this up, go ahead and link your account. I'll wait for this to get me an email. Sometimes their email servers are slow. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. If you know your password, you could skip that step. I don't. Re I don't like remembering my long ass password, so I just don't deal with it. Oh crap! All right. I will be right back. I have to go and get my my other phone. I'm gonna see if I can get my wife to bring it to me here. All right, while we're waiting for that to set up, let's go to get a couple things here going as well. I may go ahead and go into control panel. Go to firewall. Now, depending on what firewalls you guys use, you're more than welcome to leave these on and just allow the app through it. Or if you have good DDoS protection or, or a better firewall than what Windows can offer you, you're more than welcome to use that as well. I'm going to go with this route. Even though CatNet servers is on path network. Go ahead, we'll never get over to our desktop. TX, FX server. Then we're we'll going to click add and then okay. Now that I have my other phone here, we're gonna go back over here. Let's see, there it is. All right, now that we're in, we can work our way back to localhost 4120. Find that pin again, 7726. Go ahead and continue. All right. Now, this is where things are going to get a little interesting. So, you're, to get your Discord, it is optional, but I like adding it just so it's ease of access here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to user settings. Let me disable this here. User settings, I think it's in advanced. And then this will be unchecked for you right here. Just go ahead and enable that. And then go ahead and close out, find you, right click, copy user ID, work your way back over to VPS, and then create a backup password. And then register. Never go ahead, set your name, whatever you want it. Click next, popular recipes. Um, we're going to set our server up to be QBX. You could change the direction of this if you want. I'm going to leave it as default. Recipe deployer. All right. Now, I still use the old tried and true method, keymaster.5m.net. A lot of it is going over towards, I think it's like portal.cfx.re, I believe. A lot of it's coming back to going over to this. So that in the future, you are going to have to switch over to this platform. 
Um, this is where you, if you go to subscriptions, you'll be able to get your element club, um, $171 for a year, 285 for a year for the Armium or whatever the heck you call it. But yeah, um, we're going to go with, uh, this way. So this is the way that I know here. Now click register a new server. Cause I'm assuming you're not going to have one. Um, I'm just going to call this one tutorial or this will be your server name. Doesn't really necessarily mean I'm going to go ahead and copy this server registration key. You shouldn't have to mess with anything in this, but if you have a VPS that's on or a shared host in like rocket node or any shock bite, things like that, you'll need to change these ports to whatever your panel will give you um, and set your passwords and such. Since we're on a VPS, we don't have to worry about that. All right, and then we'll let that run. Okay, go ahead and close this. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now this really, this step really just depends on your internet speed and the capabilities of your server. I'm on one of my lower end servers right now, so that explains why. This one's a little bit slower. All right, once that's done, you'll be greeted with this. Go ahead and keep this up. Go ahead and minimize it. Click next. You can go through this if you wish. Um, right now, it's not really necessary. If you do not have an, uh, an Iron Man club or any kind of element club subscription, if you set the player count to 10, you will get all perks of those. And you don't have to worry about it. Go ahead and click save and run server. And then we'll have one more step after we get this stuff um, ran. All right. Seems to have stopped. Go ahead and pull up your security panel again. Virus and threat protection. Manage settings. Exclusions. Add an exclusion folder. You want to go into TX data and then just select it. And then go, you're done with that folder. So now when you restart your server, it should still, it should boot up a lot faster. Even if you have a current server and that's not set up, you will be able to, um, you'll be able, it'll boot up a lot faster. But granted with this being a, I think it's, this is an AMD Epic server. Um, yeah. It doesn't have that much speed. CPU speed really does matter in 5M servers, especially whenever you're loading a lot of assets at the time. Um, yeah. Uh, next video, be on the lookout for that one. We're going to be doing some uh, Linux installations on how to install this stuff on Linux as well. So sorry for the long video. Um, I just didn't want to cut it just in case something would get missed in between for y'all. So don't forget catnetservice.cloud slash store get your vps stock is running out